Hello everyone, get your pencil and papers ready. Pastor Lindsey Williams has come out with a new DVD entitled Elite Emergency Data. And a link will be below in the more info section. And you can watch the video on Moneybags World. Highlights from the new presentation by Mr. Williams. Lindsey's elite friend told him when the crash would happen. Lindsay has a list of things that you need to do before January 1st, 2014. Between June 19th and June 22nd, the elite conducted a test. Hugo Salinas Price, who I have done several videos on and who is a Mexican billionaire, according to Lindsay, no doubt also has an elite friend. Lindsay's elite friend has never been wrong in over 37 years according to Mr. Williams. China is on the verge of collapse. You'll see footage of ghost cities and a real estate bubble many times larger than we experienced in the US. Lindsay makes a connection between Obamacare and the collapse of the dollar according to what his elite friend told him. Lindsay highlights the horrors of Obamacare and last but not least he tells everybody to get right with their creator and ask for guidance during these troubled times. I'm going to give some additional information on a few of these key highlights here. Lindsay's elite friend has told him when the great financial event or crash as many prefer to call it will happen. Lindsay received a time frame. Listen up, I didn't say date. Lindsay wanted me to remind you of that. I said time frame. So here it is everybody. Make sure you're sitting down. I'm going to give you that time frame now. The collapse will take place after the affordable health care bill is fully implemented. Now I want to make sure, did you catch that? Key word, after. I'm, Lindsay might consider that a buzzword, but I'm calling that a key word here. After the affordable health care bill is fully implemented. Now we have good news here. That's been pushed out till January 2015. So we got, some, we got a little bit of time here, everybody. A little over four years ago, Lindsay was on the phone with Mr. Fromm, his elite friend. Mr. Fromm said that there would be a health care bill, but it would actually be the key to what the elite have planned. Rather than a health care bill, it will actually be the completion of their plans for total control. But the elite aren't ready yet. They want more debt. They want more welfare. They want more Detroits. They want more bankruptcies. They want you begging for a one world currency. They're not ready to bring it all down. But there are things you need to do before January 1st, 2014 to protect your family according to Mr. Williams. Now before we give you that list, on June 19th, the elite did a test. I did a video on the bloodbath that took place. Bernanke hinted at a tapering of 85 billion. Of the 85 billion dollars that he's now printing out of thin air, he hinted at tapering and there was a bloodbath in the markets. According to Mr. Williams, elite friend, this was a test. A test that would show them how they could bring down all the world's currencies at one time. They were testing interest rates. The elite now know that they can bring down the system by running up the rates as they shot up with just a mention of tapering by Mr. Bernanke. Within just days after the bloodbath, the one quadrillion dollar derivative market saw many losses. This is what brought us down in 08. This is what they're going to use to bring us down, the derivative market. Options, collateralized debt obligations, credit default swaps. This is a one quadrillion dollar market. And most of these contracts are tied to interest rates. Skyrocketing interest rates will topple everything at this point. I believe Mr. Williams would agree with. 
Mr. Williams talked about Hugo Salinas Price how he, and how he must have an elite friend because of recent things that he said. He said a rise in interest rates is the fatal sign that will ignite a derivative crisis. Most derivatives are related to interest rates. There will be bankruptcies around the world and when the dust settles, gold will shine. The list that Lindsay gave of things that you need to do before January 1st, 2014 entails the following. Number one, buy every piece of gold you can find. Gold is gonna become scarce as people start to wake up. Get out of debt. Anything that has debt attached to it will be lost. I did a video on how you're gonna lose your house in real estate. The Fed buying up $40 billion in mortgage-backed securities on a monthly basis, and they may own your home now. Get out of paper. If you can't hold it, you really don't own it. Pay off your house mortgage. Store food, water, and firearms. Get ready for the greatest buying opportunity in your lifetime, says Mr. Williams. Things will be bought for pennies on the dollar when the dust settles. Just like during the early 1930s Great Depression, purchase everything you need. One final thing that I would like to give some additional information on. Lindsay talked a lot about China. He says people ask him, do the elite control China? He said George Herbert Bush, Daddy Bush, when he was the ambassador to China between September 74 and December 75, went in there and opened up China. China was a closed society. He went in, Mr. New World Order, take a look. Its founders. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN. He went in and within 40 years, China had the second largest con economy in the world, 1.35 billion compared to 313 million in the US. So do the elite run China? Well, our corporations are in China and when the corporations go bankrupt, they're gonna bring China down with them. In order to get into China and get the slave labor, according to Mr. Williams, the companies had to give away their trade secrets. So there you have it everybody, the newest information from Pastor Lindsey Williams.